This is Mrs. Appiah with Lesson 2, Solving for Unknown Angles Using Equations. Student Outcomes for this lesson. Students solve for unknown angles in word problems and in diagrams involving complementary, supplementary, vertical, and adjacent angles. Pause the video and copy the essential question. What is the first step when solving for an unknown angle? In the opening exercise, two lines meet at a point. In a complete sentence, describe the relevant angle relationship in the diagram. Find the values of R, S, and T. Pause the video and complete the opening exercise. First, a relevant angle relationship is that angle S and 25 are vertically opposite and equal in measure. So these angles formed by intersecting lines are equal in measure and that would make angle S 25 degrees. Next, let's take a look at angle R. Angle R and 25 are angles on a line and sum to 180 degrees. So we can write an equation to find the measure of angle R. We have 25 plus R equals 180. Here is the line, and here are the two angles that equal 180 degrees. Subtract 25 from both sides of the equation. This is a zero pair, leaving you with the variable r and the constant 155. The value of r is 155 degrees. Finally, angle t. Angle r and angle t are vertically opposite, and they are equal in measure and that would make the measure of angle T 155 degrees as well. So we have the measure of the three angles. In example one, two lines meet at a vertex of a ray. In a complete sentence, describe the relevant angle relationships in the diagram. Set up and solve an equation to find the value of P and R. So we have two angles that we're gonna solve for. Let's take a look at angle R first. Angle R is vertically opposite to the sum of these two adjacent angles. So we can write an equation to solve for that. We have R is equal to 28 plus 16. The value of R is 44 degrees. Go ahead and label that 44 degrees. Now we need to solve for P and notice this line and these two angles are adjacent angles and together they are angles on a line so they will have a sum of 180 degrees. So we can write an equation to solve for that. We have angle P plus angle R is equal to 180 degrees and we know the value of angle R is 44 degrees so we substitute it. Subtract 44 from both sides of the equation. This is a zero pair, leaving you with your variable P. And this answer is 136 degrees. The measure of angle P is 136 degrees. The measure of angle R is 100, or rather, 44 degrees. Exercise 1. Three lines meet at a point. In a complete sentence, describe the relevant angle relationship in the diagram. Set up and solve an equation to find the value of A. Notice that you have A on the left and A on the right. And since they are the same variable, you know that they will have the same measure. Pause the video and complete exercise 1. The relevant angle relationship is... <clears throat> is that the two A degree angles and the one angle of 144 degrees are angles on a line and sum to 180 degrees. So we can write an equation, 2A plus 144 equals 180. This is a two-step equation. Remember to undo the addition first with subtraction. So we subtract 144 from both sides of the equation and then simplify. That leaves us with 2A is equal to 36 degrees. 
multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of 2 to complete solving the equation. The reciprocal of 2 is 1 half. 1 half times 2 equals 1. 1 times a is a. 1 half times 36 is 18. And so a is equal to 18 degrees. The measure of angle A equals 18 degrees. Example 2. Three lines meet at a point. In a complete sentence, describe the relevant angle relationships in the diagram. Set up and solve an equation to find the value of Z. Let's take a look at the angle relationships. We have angle X, which is an acute angle, and we have this unlabeled angle here. Let's call that angle Y. Now, taking a look at the relevant angle relationships. We know that the two angles, Z and Y, are complementary and have a sum of 90 degrees, but we don't know either one of them. We'll let Y be the measure of the indicated angle, and we know that Y is vertical and equal to, in measure, to the 19 degree angle. Notice the typo there, that should say 19 degrees. So that means that this angle is 19 degrees, and this is the angle Z that we are solving for. And we know that together these have a sum of 90 degrees. So we can write an equation starting with x plus y equals 90. We know the value of Z is 19 degrees. So substitute the 19 degrees. Then subtract 19 from both sides of the equation. That's That leaves us with the value of Z equals 71 degrees. So we have the measure of angle Z equals 71 degrees. Exercise 2. Three lines meet at a point. Angle AOF is 144 degrees. Angle AOF is right here. AOF. So that's this obtuse angle. Notice the little mark right here indicating that angle. In a complete sentence, describe the relevant angle relationship in the diagram, set up and solve an equation to determine the value of C, which is this angle. Pause the video and complete exercise two. The relevant angle relationship, angle EOB, formed by the adjacent angles. So let's take a look at angle EOB. EOB is right here. And know that it, notice that it is the same measure as the sum of angle EOC, which is right here and COB, which is right here. These are adjacent angles, and they have a sum as the same as EOB. It is equal in measure to angle AOF, which is 144 degrees. The measurement of angle EOB is C degrees, this mark amount right here, plus this 90 degree angle here. So we can write an equation and solve. We have C plus 90 equals 144. Subtract 90 from both sides of the equation, and the answer is 54. And so we have the measure of angle C is equal to 54 degrees. Example 3. Two lines meet at a vertex of a ray. The ray is perpendicular to one of the lines as shown below. In a complete sentence, describe the relevant angle relationships in the diagram, set up and solve an equation to find the value of T. The measurement of the angle formed by the adjacent angles of 26 degrees and 90 degrees is the sum of the adjacent angles. This angle is vertically opposite and equal in measurement to angle T. Notice the purple lines there. So we can write an equation to solve this. We know that these are going to be equal in measure. So this 
angle formed by the two adjacent angles. That would be 26 plus 90. Here's the indicator that it's a 90 degree angle. And that's going to be equal in measure to angle T. And so we just add those together to find our answer. The measure of angle T is equal to 116 degrees. Now you might think, how did I know that those are equal? Remember that vertically opposite angles are equal, and they are formed by these two intersecting lines. So this angle is vertically opposite and equal to that angle, which is comprised of the two the angles 26 and 90. Exercise 3. Two lines meet at a vertex of a ray. The ray is perpendicular, 90 degrees, to one of the lines as shown. In a complete sentence, describe the relevant angle relationship in the diagram. You may add labels to the diagram to help with your description of the angle relationships. Set up and solve an equation to find the value of V. So what they're talking about is when they say you may add labels is that this angle is unlabeled and you might want to give it a variable. Exercise three, pause the video now and complete that exercise. One possible response, let X be the angle vertically opposite and equal in measurement to 46 degrees. The angles X and V are adjacent angles and the angles they form together is equal to the sum of their measurement. So these angles together equal the sum of their measurement. So we know that this is 46 degrees and this is also 46 degrees. Why would you want to add them together? Well, this is a 90 degree angle and we know that this is 46 degrees. And so the sum of their angles would be the measure of angle V, which is comprised of the two adjacent angles. So we write an equation. We know that X is 46 and then V is equal to 90 plus 46, the two adjacent angles. And then we write that together. And so our answer is the measure of angle V is equal to 136 degrees. Example four, three lines meet at a point. In a complete sentence, describe the relevant angle relationship in the diagram, set up and solve an equation to find the value of X. Notice in this diagram, I have highlighted in red two of the lines. Those red lines are perpendicular and they form 90 degree angles and we can use that relationship to help us determine the value of angle X. We know that angle X is vertical to the angle formed by the right angle that contains and shares a common side with an eight degree angle. So again, this is angle X in purple. That is vertically opposite to this angle. These two angles together form a 90 degree angle. And so that means that these two angles, which are vertically opposite, will also form a 90 degree angle. These green angles are vertically opposite. And that means that they are equal in measure. So this is an eight degree angle. Together, angle X plus eight degrees forms a 90 degree angle. Solve that equation subtract from eight, or subtract eight from both sides rather, that's gonna give you a zero pair, and the answer is 82 degrees. So we have the measure of angle X is equal to 82 degrees. Exercise four, two lines meet at the common vertex of two rays. In a complete sentence, describe the relevant angle relationships in the diagram. Set up and solve an equation to find the value of X. Find the measurement of angle AOB and angle BOC. Pause the video and complete exercise four. Angle AOC is vertically opposite from the angle formed by the adjacent angles, 90 degrees and 25 degrees. The 
equation would be 2x plus 3x is equal to 90 plus 25. Let's highlight that. These two angles together equal the sum of these two angles. Simplify. 2x plus 3x is 5x. 90 plus 25 is 115. x is equal to 23. To solve that last step of the equation and review, multiply by the reciprocal of 5. 1 fifth and 1 fifth. 1 fifth of 5 equals 1. 1 times x is x. 1 fifth of 115 is 23. Now that you have the value of x, you can solve for the angles. We know that this is 2 times x, and this angle would be 3 times x. The angle AOC is 2 times 23, or 46 degrees, and angle BOC is 3 times x, 3 times 23 degrees, and that equals 69 degrees total. So we have the measure of our angles. This is a 46 degree angle, and this is a 69 degree angle. 5a. In a complete sentence, describe the relevant angle relationship in the diagram, set up and solve an equation to find the value of x. Find the measurement of angle AOB, which is this angle, and BOC, which is the second angle. Notice that they have a sum of 90 degrees together. Pause the video and complete exercise 5a. The relevant angle relationship, angle AOB and BOC are complementary and sum to 90 degrees. The equation would be 5x plus 2x plus 20 equals 90. Simplify 5x plus 2x is 7x. This is a two-step equation. First, undo the addition with subtraction. Subtract 20 from both sides of the equation. That leaves you with 7x equals 70. From here, multiply by the reciprocal of 7, which is 1 7th. 1 7th of 7 equals 1. 1 times x equals x. And 1 7th of 70 equals 10. Clean this up here. There we go. x is equal to 10. Now we have solved for x but we haven't found the measure of the angles yet. So we know that this angle right here, this is 5 times x and then this is 2x plus 20. So make sure that you follow those steps as well. So we have 5 times 10 is 50 degrees, and 2 times 10 plus 20 is 40 degrees. So this is your 50 degree angle, and this is your 40 degree angle. So remember you solve for x, and then you have to plug it back in here, 5 times 10, and then here 2 times 10 plus 20. 5b. Katrina was solving the problem above and wrote the equation 7x plus 20 equals 90. Then she rewrote this as 7x plus 20 equals 70 plus 20. Why did she write that equation in that way? And how does this help her to find the value of x? So take a look at that and solve the problem and then check your answer. Pause the video. She grouped the quantity on the right-hand side of the equation similarly to that of the equation on the left-hand side. This way, it is clear that the quantity 7x on the left-hand side must be equal to the quantity of 70 on the right-hand side. In this lesson you have learned to solve an unknown angle problem, identify the angle relationship first, and set up an equation that will yield the unknown value. Angles on a line and supplementary angles are not the same relationship. Supplementary angles are two angles whose sum of their angle measures is 180 degrees, where angles on a line is two or more angles on whose angles measure add to equal 180 degrees.